Many mental health providers and advocates enter the field with the intention to make a difference, but find that the tools we are given aren't enough and the system doesn't support lasting healing and change. We become disillusioned, burnt out, and often feel alone and powerless and wonder, are there better ways of providing support? What would it look like to be able to show up as our full, authentic selves? A growing number of people and an expanding body of research are challenging our current models and uplifting new approaches. We know mental health is more than a result of individual biology and deeply impacted by a wider social, political, and economic context. Ida's transformative mental health core curriculum is the product of many years of learning directly from those most impacted by the mental health system and closely listening to what providers want and need right now. This virtual training centers the impact of structural oppression on our well-being, amplifying voices of lived experience alongside research and professional perspectives, and introduces concrete tools and strategies for addressing issues that are so often medicalized. The curriculum consists of in-depth, self-guided video content, a personal workbook, and the opportunity to move through the experience within a learning community. It features dozens of faculty from across disciplines, geographies, and movements, all leaders in their respective fields. We're hoping to build bridges between different types of language, people who have different identities and relationships to mental health, and we see this language of transformation as a way that we can do that. It's only through the stories of those who are most impacted that we can understand the impacts of systemic oppression and also the ways that people are always resisting. Analyzing power anchors us in the reality that science is a process, not one unquestionable truth. And it is a process that is carried out by specific people in specific contexts and yields particular results. What is the norm within Western mental health? What does it prioritize and uplift? Who is deemed unfit and what is the broader context of who is deemed unfit? The movement of people who call ourselves by many names as mad or ex-patients, psychiatric inmates or psychiatric survivors, is an attempt to give voice to those of us who have been assumed to be irrational or out of our minds. It's about being able to go through that journey together with tons of respect and patience and compassion as opposed to blaming people for what they're experiencing. When we talk about transformation or change, it's not changing someone into something they're not or, uh, or fixing anyone, but rather about opening up a body to more and more possibility and choice. I tried to gather as many frameworks or beliefs or ideas around this lived experience as I could and then ask my client, which one do you resonate with most? We designed this curriculum for care workers who are early in their transformative mental health learning journey, who are curious and excited and unsure where to begin. If you are interested in creative ways to advocate for and support the people you care about, this curriculum is for you. Through an intentional and collaborative process, we created a training that reflects so many voices, perspectives, and experiences. We invite you to join us on this journey embracing the power of lived experience to transform your practice. Mm -hmm.